time is running out. At this hour, millions of American families, including right here in southwestern Pennsylvania, are just days away from losing a critical lifeline. Now, I'm talking about the weekly $600 benefit sent to people who lost their jobs because of the pandemic. People have used this money to pay rent, keep their utilities on, pay car payments, and even buy food. This is 11 and 11. I'm David Johnson. And I'm Lisa Sylvester. New tonight, our Amy Hudak highlights the struggles one man in our community will have, like so many others who are dependent on those benefits, and what will happen if they aren't renewed. The extra $600 a month, many Pennsylvanians are getting in their unemployment checks, helping to feed their families and pay their bills, could soon be a thing of the past. This pandemic's not going away anytime soon. So. I'm scared. Chris uh, Hoskins is I'm one okay of the though. thousands of unemployed Pennsylvanians. He's a cook in a struggling restaurant and hospitality industry, and his severe asthma makes him extremely high risk. I'm still too scared. I'm too scared just to go to the store if I need something, you know, um, and I don't like living like that. The timing, tough for families struggling financially, right when mortgage payments, rent, and end of the month bills are due. It's frustrating because it's hard enough. Hoskins says for those like him at high risk and in need of life saving medications, the cost of long term unemployment just won't pay the bills. Those of us who are in um, high risk for catching it, and, and, and it could kill me, I'm not saying it will, but uh, it could, that 600 a week is, is necessary because 195 bucks a week ain't, isn't nothing. When you've got to pay 500 bucks a month rent, you've got to pay either gas, electric, or water for wherever it is you live, car gas, car insurance. Without that additional $600 a week, the average American is making about $383 a week on unemployment, roughly $1,500 a month. Amy Hudak, Channel 11 News.